This world will kill you. In the distant future, Duke Leto Atreides, ruler of the planet Caladan, is tasked by Emperor Padishah Shaddam IV to replace Baron Vladimir Harkonnen as ruler of Arrakis. House Atreides shall immediately take control of Arrakis and serve as its steward. Do you accept? We are House Atreides. There is no call we do not answer. There is no faith that we betray. The Emperor asks us to bring peace to Arrakis. House Atreides accepts! A harsh desert planet and the only source of spice, a valuable psychotropic substance that provides heightened vitality and awareness. Spice is also the key to interstellar travel, giving spacing guild navigators the ability to guide starships through space quickly and safely. Emperor Shaddam, fearing Leto's rising power, plotted for House Harkonnen to retake Arrakis, secretly aided by Sardaukar forces, and destroy House Atreides. Leto suspects the Emperor, but he weighs the risks of controlling Arrakis and forging an alliance with Arrakis's mysterious natives, the Freemen. By making an alliance with the Freemen, that's what I've sent Duncan Idaho to arrange. Here on Caladan, we've ruled by air power and sea power. On Arrakis, we need to cultivate desert power. Leto's concubine, Lady Jessica, is a servant of the Bene Gesserit, an exclusive fraternity whose members possess advanced physical and mental abilities. As part of a centuries-long breeding program, they instructed her to give birth to a daughter who would one day become Kwisatz Haderach, a Bene Gesserit and messianic being who possesses the clairvoyance needed to guide humanity to a better future. Jessica disobeyed and gave birth to a son, Paul, who was trained by Leto's aides, Duncan Idaho, Gurney Halleck, Dr. Suk Wellington Yue, and Mentat Thufir Hawat. She taught him the Bene Gesserit discipline. Paul told Jessica and Duncan about a disturbing vision of the future. Reverend Mother and Imperial Truth-Teller Gaius Helen Mohiam visited Caledon and administered the deadly Gom Jabbar test to assess his humanity and impulse control, which he passed. Pain. Silence. At a secret meeting on Giedi Prime, Mohiam insisted Baron Harkonnen pardon Paul and Jessica in his coup, which he later agreed to. House Atreides arrived at Arakeen, the main stronghold on Arrakis. Duncan's forces had made contact with the Freemen. The natives worship Paul and Jessica, which he explains is due to the beliefs of the Bene Gesserit, who sowed faith in Arrakis centuries earlier. Leto negotiated with the Freeman chieftain Stilgar and met with the Imperial Judge for Change, Dr. Kynes, a planetary expert who lived among the Freemen. Dr. Kynes briefs them on the dangers of the spice harvest and the giant sandworms that live under the desert and make the use of Holtzman's shield as protection unwise. 
On a flight, they rescue a stranded spice harvesting crew from the sandworms. And Paul's exposure to the spice triggers a bad feeling. Is that a worm? Delta Ajax Snyder, this is Spider One. Worm sign confirmed. Stand by for contact fix. Bless the coming and going of him. May his passage cleanse the world and keep the world for his people. An attempt to assassinate Paul with a Hunter Hunter failed. Yue betrayed Atreides and disabled the Arakeen shield, allowing the Harkonnens and Sadokar to attack. He paralyzed Leto, planning to exchange him for his wife, who was the Baron's prisoner. Yue replaced one of Leto's teeth with a poison gas capsule that the Duke could use to kill the Baron. Sir, sir, the shield's come down. God in heaven. After the Baron killed Yue, Leto released the gas, killing himself and the Baron's mentat, Peter de Vries, but the Baron survived. Although the Baron had arranged for Paul and Jessica to be dropped deep in the desert to die, the compassionate Yue had left them with a frem kit with survival supplies. Jessica used a Bene Gesserit technique called the Voice to defeat and kill their captors. <laughs> Overnight in the desert, Paul, surrounded by spices, has a vision of a bloody holy war taking place across the universe in his name. After conquering Arrakis, Baron Harkonnen appointed his nephew, Raban, to oversee the planet and ordered him to restart spice production to recoup the costs of the invasion. Meanwhile, Duncan and Kynes found Jessica and Paul, who revealed his plan to marry one of Emperor Shaddam's daughters to prevent a potential civil war arising from the Emperor's betrayal. However, they were discovered by Sadokar soldiers armed with laser guns. Duncan sacrificed himself, allowing Paul and Jessica to escape. <laughs> also tried to escape but was caught and severely wounded and lured a sandworm to his location to devour him and the Sardaukar. <laughs> Deep in the desert, Paul and Jessica encountered Stilgar's tribe of Fremen, including Chani, the young woman in Paul's vision. Against the Stilgar's lenient attitude towards them, the Freeman warrior Jamis challenges Paul to a duel to the death. <laughs> There's no yielding under the Amtal rule, only death is the test of it. Which Paul wins. Despite Jessica's wishes, Paul joined the Freeman, determined to fulfill his father's goal of allying with them to bring peace to Arrakis. My road leads into the desert. I can see it. If you'll have us, we will come.